patch you up. <laughs> Paul Rubens, perhaps best known as his alter ego, Pee Wee Herman, has died following a six-year battle with cancer he never spoke about. Paul was 70 years old. I always say really that the only reason for being in show business is to impress the people that you went to school with, you know, so that's pretty exciting. The actor's Instagram account confirmed the news on Monday, revealing in the caption, Last night we said farewell to Paul Rubens. After he bravely and privately fought cancer for years with his trademark tenacity and wit. Oh. These are exact replicas. Uh -huh. <laughs> Paul got his start at the famed improv theater, The Groundlings, in Los Angeles. You, you can do all kinds of stuff at The Groundlings. It taught me how to improvise and, you know, about writing and comedy, and, and it's a place where you can test out the material. His one of a kind comedic voice landed him a TV series surrounding the character he crafted on stage. That's a stampede! Howdy, Cowboy Curtis! Howdy, Pee Wee! <laughs> they have Sesame Street and all the educational shows. I just tried to fill a niche that, you know, wasn't filled. Pee Wee's popularity led him to the big screen. Starting with the cult classic, Pee Wee's Big Adventure, helmed by a then unknown Tim Burton. Then you're crazy! I know you are, but what am I? You're a nerd! I know you are, but what am I? The director reunited with Paul for Batman Returns. <laughs> The dramatic role was the first of a few deviations from comedy across his decade-spanning career. I bring you in, this is how you pay me back. Hey, huh? look, George, it's nothing personal. But among his career highs, the lows in his personal life made headlines. In 1991, Paul was arrested for exposing himself in a movie theater. He later pleaded no contest and, for a time, retreated from the public eye. After a few supporting roles over the years, Rubens made a comeback thanks to his signature persona, this time on Broadway. It feels fantastic, I have to say. It's, I feel so lucky and blessed. It's just incredible. The Broadway show's success inspired another feature film in 2016, Pee Wee's Big Holiday. Are we going to your party? Pee Wee, we are the party. Paul leaves behind an enormous legacy, as well as one final message to his fans in the wake of his death. Please accept my apology for not going public with what I've been facing the last six years. I have always felt a huge amount of love and respect from my friends, fans, and supporters. I have loved you all so much and enjoyed making art for you. You don't want to get mixed up with a guy like me. I'm a loner, daddy. A rebel. <laughs>